Battle Brothers, despite what you might think, isn't the imaginary kids game that I used to play with my siblings growing up. Oh no. It is in fact a turn-based medieval themed top-down RPG from the folks over at Overhype Studios that released on PlayStation 4 last month, back in January if you can believe it. They've kindly sent us over a copy of the game for me to try it today and I'm rather excited to dive in because it's been a fair old while since I've actually dived into a classic turn-based RPG. RPG and I think things are gonna get pretty bloody. Anyway, before we dive in, I wanna thank Overhype Studios for sponsoring this video and making my childhood dream of being a mercenary that leads a company of heroes into their imminent doom. How badly? Yeah, we'll see. Let's dive in on PlayStation 5. Okay, so I've just loaded up the game here and already in the bottom right corner, it says Battle Brothers is a hard game. So I might be setting myself up to fail here, but let's dive into a new new campaign. Oh, that's cool. So you've got like different flags that you can use to represent your your company. That one looks very Slytherin-ish. Might give my enemies the wrong idea. I want to rope them in, you know, fool them, saying, look how trustworthy I am. That's why I'm definitely not going for the decapitated king either. Um, I tell you what, let's go for the purple heart being stabbed. And I'm not going to lie to you, everyone, I'm, because Battle Brothers, known to be a hard game, we'll, we'll leave all the settings down at beginner. Uh, but let's just jump in. It all went wrong two days ago. The company was hired to track down Hoggart the Weasel. Pop goes the Weasel. And his band of raiders. But it was them who found you first. An ambush! Some joke about horses, cut short by an arrow to the throat, not to the knee. Arrow shooting in from everywhere and nowhere. Men holler and scream. A great volume before death. Well then let's get this Hoggart guy, because he's not getting away with that. Not under my watch anyway. Uh, Hoggart, how could you? <laughs> so the action is going down. It's this guy's move. Come on, Carl, we can do it. Um, and yeah, we're going to use Shoot Bolt. And I'm going to take down the Brigand Thug. Did I miss? Oh no, I think I might have missed. Well, we'll reload either, either way. Thrust, well placed thrust attack. Okay, can we move? Let's get in close. And hopefully, I bet I've just used up all my attack points. I, I have as well. We'll maintain a defensive position as our buddy Gero, Giro, Gero here. And uh, we'll call it a day. Hopefully they're, oh no. Tundra, you've got such a cool name. Don't let it go to waste. Right, Carl. <laughs> You let me down last time. Let's not this time. Oh, no. I didn't know I could do that. I could shoot my own men. Oh no. Gonna have to make sure they're uh, not not standing in the line of fire. Uh, oh no, I'm gonna have to move. Hopefully I can still make the shot. Yep, yeah, come on. Let's go Carl, it's all on you. Brigand thug time. Ah, why do you keep missing Carl? Come on. Have a word with yourself, lad. So do I want to perform the split man as my buddy Gero? A slow overhead attack performed with full force to split a target in two. Yes, we do want to split this target in two because he's been causing nothing but bother. Oh, okay, that was vicious. I mean, I'm digging the games like comic book style graphics, 2D, 2D art style, got some super charm to it, but that was pretty brutal. Wasn't expecting it to be that bad. Okay. Do we want to knock back this guy? Do we want to shield wall it in advance of next time? Or should we thrust him? How much health has this guy got? It's been untouched so far, so I feel like we've got to stab him. Come on. Ah. Okay, hopefully Carl's got it, got it planned. And he's not going to shoot my young man this time. Ah. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> you should have gone to spec savers, Carl. Okay. Let's move my guy. Can I move him here? Yeah, let's move him here. And we're going to go for another split man. Or a, a good old fashioned round swing. But if I did the round swing, that would put my buddy uh, in the line. Okay. This brigand thug's almost had it. Come on now. Surely. I mean, I know this is a hard game. Yes! Victory. Awesome. The enemy was destroyed in four rounds. Four rounds, not bad for my first go, I don't think. Let's see what awesome loot we've got. We've got the pitchfork. And we've also got the dagger. I think the pitchfork could be especially brutal. So we've survived our first encounter. 
Don't want to get too cocky now. I'm alive, I won. The adrenaline fades, and in its wake, you can't help but sink back to the ground. Gritting your teeth, you snap the arrow shaft. Your chest heaves, pain for breath. Everything blurs. The company has been devastated, cut down to but a few men. And that... <laughs> Hoggard did justice to his name. Fleeing like the weasel he is. Awesome. So we can speed it up. We need to return to get paid. Okay, let's go. Okay, now we're in the market. And what do we want to buy? I feel like we're going to need some more bandages. Um, but we're pretty pretty flush with cash, I'm not going to lie. 2,900. So yeah, let's get some medical supplies. Better armor, potentially. A simple cloth tunic. Cloth ain't going to cut it. But I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll grab a shield. And hopefully one of my guys can make use of it. I'm going to sell the pitchfork. Make some money. And... Knife, knife... Mm, okay, hatchet. Oh, I tell you what, let's get a bludgeon because they can be bloody and brutal. Anyway, let's check on uh, our party here. Now, the story said I returned with four men. I wish because I've still I've still only got three. None of them died, but um, two of them have got light wounds, so it's not looking good. And Carl's dissatisfied. Well, I'm dissatisfied with you, Carl, because multiple times in that first bout you missed your shot. The absolute cheek of it. Carl's dissatisfied. I'm not happy with that. I'm not happy at all. Anyway. Ah, now we're talking. Now we're in the armory. Okay, I can afford this. I'm actually not looking too bad for funds at the moment. Let's give them all funky uh, helmets. So nobody feels left out. And now I can go back into my inventory. And yeah, because literally... Who was it? Liebwin was only rocking an open leather cap, so he was basically asking for trouble. Gero's only got a bandana. And then Carl, I feel like he doesn't really deserve more protection. I feel like he's asking for trouble. But, you know, I want to survive at the end of the day, so we'll do what we can. Okay, so we're going to leave Philstein now. I think we've done about as, about as much as we can do in Philstein. We need to get to Tangborg, but I'm hoping it's not too far away. Uh, my men aren't in the best of shape. Got a stone watch tower. And there's Tangborn over there. But hopefully we won't get ambushed again. Okay, so we're in the training hall now in Tangborn. Um, I'm worried that I'm going to be spending a lot of my funds. Um, but Carl needs some lessons. Rigorous schooling. Give it to him. Anybody else need anything while we're here? Um. Ah, uh, what if I need to recruit some more people? Kennel. Wow. Okay. Previous si previous video didn't have this. How uh, Hohenberg's doing me good here. Cat chaser, the war dog. Oh, he's quite cheap, isn't he? War dog armor. So I don't want my dog getting getting a bad time there. So we'll recruit cat chaser. Hopefully he can chase more than cats. Get him some armor, and hopefully we can take him into battle. Lovely stuff. And let's recruit some people. Okay, so we got Werner here, Bertram, Teal, Ludger. They're not that expensive, actually, but I think you do have to play them daily. Um, Werner, Bertram, you look too much like a farmer, bud. You're going to get slaughtered out there. Herman looks like a fighter, but he's very expensive. 1,600 gold coins. Um, in that case, we need three more men. I'm just going to go for the cheapest men currently. Um, give them a chance. Hopefully they'll be, uh, they'll earn their battle scars out there in the field. Lothar Quickfeet. I hope he lives up to his name. How are we doing, Moodwise chaps? We're in good, they're in good spirits. They would be. They've not felt the harsh throes of war just yet. Bertram, I swear you had a weapon when I hired you. Got to go in and make sure everybody's got a weapon. Going back into Weissendorf. Buckard the treasurer is pacing back and forth when you find him. The healer who damn near killed you with fire poke is standing nearby. He's picking chunks of dried blood out of his fingernails. Ooh. I think we've picked up another job. Travel to Hoggart's refuge. Northeast of Weissendorf. Kill Hoggart the weasel. We're going for him. We're going for Hoggart. 
That was always the plan. And if we do that, then we'll get 400 uh, crowns. So we're going to slowly edge our way to Hogwarts Refuge. And I'm hoping if we go by the dead of night like it is now, it's only day two, uh, he won't see us coming. I could encamp. It's getting a little bit brighter, but I've st I'm still confident with the six men that I do have. And hopefully he doesn't scamper off like last time. Oh, Hogger, come on. So your scout reports that he's seen the following. A few brigand thugs and a brigand poacher. We've dealt with brigand thugs before. I think we can deal with them again. Okie dokie, here we are. Now, which one of you is Hogger? He's hiding again, isn't he? I, I damn well knew he would be. So let's slightly edge my men forward. Come on, Bertram. It's time for you to... Get your hands dirty. Now I'm just drawing them out to me, you know, slowly but surely. The Battle Brothers, it's time to live up to the name. Um, so they, they don't want to move. Whenever it's their turn, they're, they're playing a bit coy, which I don't like. I feel like, you know, if you're heading into battle, I know they're working on behalf of a, a self-proclaimed weasel. That's not even a name that someone else has uh, earned them. Let's unleash War Dog. Our War Dog. Cat Chaser, and hopefully he'll do some damage. And then Wolfgang. Okay, maybe you should hold back, Wolfgang. You'll be the backup. Lovely stuff. Ah! Oh! And then Doggo's already getting it. Hopefully he can stick it out. I tell you what, he's given it to him. Fair play. Cat Chaser is taking no prisoners. Let's give him some backup if we can. Bertram, I feel we're gonna... He's kind of gonna be our sacrificial lamb, Bertram. Like I said, didn't cost me that much money, so we're gonna try and play him up front. Um, Mark Word, same for you. You're kind of like a veteran. So I'm gonna need you for the next one. Hold it there for now. Oh man, I wish I could... I can actually control Cat Chaser. Oh, I feel bad now. Anyway, let's get a proper shot in. Bash. Which would do up to 25 damage. 25, 40, da 3 damage. Or knockout. We definitely want to go Bash, don't we? Oh, and this is Hogger. He's here. Hogger the Weasel. He's bruised. We just bruised him. Happy with that. Very happy with that. Um, yeah. Who's up next? Wolfgang. Wolfgang, you're all the way up there. Come on. Okay. I feel like Cat Chaser's days are numbered, but he's just about holding in. He dodged like two attacks then. I've never been, never been a more proud puppy father. Okay, am I going to be able to execute a move? No, just wasted all my action points. They're, they've, they're a pretty bad shot. There's more of them. There's more of us than them. We've got a 51 chance to hit. No. Can I not try it again? It's just a simple stab. Okay, we did it. Again, this is what we've all been building towards. This is the guy that left us for dead, ambushed us, and then scampered off. So hopefully we can kill him. And I'm betting that if we kill him, the rest of his uh, followers will scamper. Um... Bertram, again, you're still being too cowardly, fella. Let's get you right next to Hoggart there. Let's box him in so he cannot escape this time. Um, and yeah, we're going to carry on bashing as Loth Lothar, which is obviously one of our recruits. Oh, yeah. I think Hoggart's going down, everyone. He did block that attack. Cat Chaser's holding in there. Again, wish I could tell Cat Chaser... Well, A, how good a job he's doing, and B, to pull back a little bit, because he's already worked wonders, bless him. What's this bloke doing? He's being proper cowardly. They're retreating, it, it looks like. Let's get Falk uh, as close as we can. Hey, that's not fair. Not, not worth using split shield, because this guy doesn't have one. But his head's come off all the same. Best feeling in the world when you're a battle brother. So let's move this guy in. Nice one, Till. And hopefully we can take the heat off Cat Chaser a little bit. Apparently not, because you're going to miss. Bertram. 
Time to put those farming, <laughs> farming days out of work. Imagine if he was the one to kill uh, the big bad Hogger. That would be pretty good, actually. But no, Mark Ward's got the opportunity. He's the veteran. And Hoggart's down. Revenge has been achieved. I'm happy. Happy with that. Um, so now let's just polish off the last of his men. Cat Chaser. Doing a grand old job. Wolfgang, you're going to have to go around the back, mate. Because this guy's trying to play it really sneaky-like. And it ain't working. Um, we're just going to gang up on this one guy now. And I would say... I wish we still had the crossbow. Cat Chaser's eager. Blimey, is he eager. Ah, so he got... He did get away, then. He did get away. Hmm. How far... How far back is he going? Again. He's just, like, being a proper coward, this guy. I'll take my men over as far as I can take them. But I don't know how much use they're going to be. Let's skip this guy. Skip a bunch of turns. Cat Chaser. I tell you what. I recruited three men, right? From that previous village. And Cat Chaser was my best investment yet. Absolute badass. Man's best friend. Soldier's best friend. A battle brother's best friend. Right. Ah, come on. Bertram, get get your butt in there. Come on. Your fellow brothers need backup. Let's just skip a lot of these guys. And now hopefully... Can this guy attack from that angle, though? I'm not so sure. No, he can't get down there. Come on, folk. Cat Chaser is going to be the one ending this. I can already feel it. Okay, Till. Puncture. Stab just does so much more damage than a puncture. I feel like I've been insane not to use it. So we've had one hit land. Could this be the killing blow? It absolutely is! Beautiful stuff. Hogger is dead. We achieved our mission. Pleased with that. And in fact, I'm pleased with where I'm going to leave it now. So anyway, guys, that was Battle Brothers. Classic 2D turn-based RPG from the folks over at Overhype Studios. Once again, thank you to them for sponsoring this video. I really enjoyed that. I can see how it could be quite addicting to kind of jump into these limited time runs, build up your own crew, and then sort of, you know, accomplish as many objectives as you can within a short time period. But no, it seems like a lot of fun. But if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, be sure to leave it a like and leave a comment below and tell me what you think about Battle Brothers. Would you want to join my Battle Brother crew? I sure as hell hope you would. I mean, did you see the performance I just put on there? <laughs> and then obviously, don't forget to subscribe to Push Square for everything else PlayStation related. But until next time, I want to thank you as ever for watching and I'll see you in the next one.